Markdown link validation in VS Code can help you catch broken local links. This could be a link to another file in your workspace, an image that you're trying to include, or even a link to another section in the current file. Let's take a look at this feature in action. Now, link validation is off by default, but you can turn it on just by enabling the Markdown Validate Enabled setting. I've gone and done that, and we can see that in our current Markdown file, four errors are being reported. So down in the problems view, we have four errors being reported for various types of broken links. The first one here is an image that we're trying to include. And if I go and I hover over the path here, you can see it's telling us the file does not exist at the path. Now, if I look over in the Explorer, you can see that sure enough, the directory we're referencing is called images, but here we're just calling it image. So we need to go and add an S here. And now I've gone and fixed the image and everything should be good on that one. So as you can see, link validation can catch cases where maybe you've mistyped a path or the files have moved around. And it can be really helpful because otherwise these errors are something you have to catch just by looking at the uh, rendered pages. Now let's look at the next error here, which is the one where we're trying to link to a header in the current file. So we're trying to link down to this learn more header, but you can see that if I hover over the path here, we have that little yellow squiggly and it's telling us, hey, there's no header found for this link. And that is because we've forgotten the trailing E here. So I can just go and add that. And again, I've gone and fixed that link so that now I can go and click on this. I'll go and scroll down to the learn more section. Now the other link down here is we're actually using a reference link. So we've gone and defined some links down here at the bottom of the file. And it's, if I go and hover over the little squiggly here, you can see that sure enough, it's saying, hey, there's no link definition found for links. Now, if we look down to our link definitions, you can see that again, it's a problem with plurals. So we have the definition is called link, but here we're trying to use it with the plural form. So in this case, I just have to delete the S and now everything is looking good. One final case is that in the link definition itself, we're linking to another markdown file and then trying to go to a specific header in that other file. In this case, there's just a squiggly over under that header link section. So the other file exists and we can confirm that over in the Explorer, but under the header section, it's actually telling us the header does not actually exist there. And I can go and navigate to this file and see that, oh, I need an ER on the end of this. So I can go and fix this. And now we've fixed all the problems in the current file. Even for simple markdown readmes, I find that this link validation can be really helpful. It's very easy for these links to get out of date. Again, it is an opt-in feature. So you need to turn it on in the settings. To do that, you can open the settings with control comma or command comma on Mac search for Markdown Validate, and just turn on the Markdown, or the Markdown Validate Enabled setting here. Once you enable that, link validation will also be enabled. There's also settings that you can use to go and fine tune the link validation if you want a little bit more control. So that's a quick introduction to Markdown link validation in VS Code.